the mind makes us depressed and then makes us depressed that we are depressed our mind often acts as a tricky enemy slippery enemy one such tricky attack is by inducing depression within us what does that mean life itself is characterized by good and bad and when bad things happen we naturally feel disappointed but the mind takes such disappointing events in our life and starts replaying them repeatedly inside us and if we dwell on all the bad thing that have happened to us we naturally feel stripped of energy of hope even of purpose for living itself and that state as that that drainage inner drainage is what makes us sink into depression and once we start feeling depressed uh, the mind tricks us further it starts berating us for being too weak to face life difficulties and we it, we start seeing if we listen to the mind's castigation then we start seeing our depression not as a as a mental state but as a moral flaw as a will power deficiency as as a character flaw and then as as we condemn ourselves for our spinelessness we start feeling depressed about why am i feeling depressed why am i so weak we become depressed about our depression we to be able to escape from what the mind is doing we need to understand what the mind is doing so if you consider a physical metaphor if you consider life to a landscape a depression is like a pit on the road of life adversity is are like pits on the road of life uh, when we fall into a pit we start feeling depressed and then the mind pushes us into that pit the pit may be there on the road and we can navig we we can navigate or walk around it but when we fall into it then that's like getting into depression and the mind pushes us into the pit and after that it pushes us further into a deeper pit inside that pit that's like feeling depressed about feeling depressed the bhagavad gita 1835 states that such depressive thoughts are typical of a strong affliction by the mode of ignorance we are ignorant about the nature of physical reality and ignorant about the nature of we are ignorant about both the nature of the world and the nature of the mind ya swapnam bhayam shokam vishadam madame vacha munchati durme dhadrti sapartha tamasi so moroseness pessimism moping blaming these characterize the mode of ignorance these are all typical of depression now how do we deal with this while walking on a slippery road filled with pits we may hold on to some supportive railing similarly while navigating difficult times we need to hold on to uplifting thoughts one one 
powerful uplifting thought is the thought thought about Krishna a thoughts of uh, that he he loves us he loves us as we are even if we are depressed or prone to depression his love for us is independent of our mental state He is our unflinching, unfailing, untiring benefactor. So, Rudam Sarva Bhuta Naam Yatva Maam Shanti Vrachati Now, if we practice some limb bhakti yoga that keeps us connected with him, we can gradually transcend the modes that induce depressive thoughts. Thank you.